And rolling up and down fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the piggy. And the thumb. Down to the wrist. And across the knuckles. All right, back at the fingers, index finger and thumb. Ring finger. Middle finger. Yeah, skipping around here. And pinky. Index. Ring. Middle. And pinky. And let's go around the back. And switch. 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 Into you at the waist. Going through the legs. Switch, switch, and switch. Yeah, let's put the ball on the floor. That's how the feet feel. Step on it right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Up to the knuckles, once on each. Roll across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise the toes and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scroll. Three, two, one, release, reassess, go to the other foot, press down three times. Up to the knuckles. Roll across the knuckles. Middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise them up, separate. Press again. Wiggle again. Ball to the side and reassess. And shake the tree.
Great. You on center. To sit the waist, swing the arms. And uh, center with some motion wave breathing. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, stepping out together and start. And center, same thing in the other direction. And a single. Let's take some steps forward. And then elbow towards the opposite knee. We're going to be doing some more of this later because we're doing some standing core today. And then tap the opposite heel. And then tap it behind. And a cross step with a twist and a punch. And then a walk, march, or jog. So, like I said, uh, standing core. No rapid squats. If you want to do those to get the heart rate up, do anything. I'm going to sprint. If you can do what you're doing, just be safe. Five Tibetans in the after class. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, two, three. Ten. One T. And 30, two nice deep three-dimensional breaths. Yeah. 
Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up overhead. Fill them up on your toes if you can, otherwise just stretch. Back down, bend back if you can. And come forward. Drop one hand, lean in that direction. Come on up, drop the other hand, lean in that direction. Back up, interlace the fingers again, drop the hands to the chest and push out. Come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. And go a little higher if you can. Come on down and shrug. Place your fingertips on your shoulders and rotate your elbows in a circle forward. And then behind. And then extend your arms and tap your shoulders. And then extend them and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then give yourself a big bear hug. Inhale, extend the back, squeeze. Bear hug with the other arm on top. Same thing, both ways with each arm on top. Extend one arm behind the back, press down and in. And then the other. And grab both elbows and rock side to side. Come on down and rotate the neck. Then go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Come on up, tuck in your chin. Look in one direction, drop the chin to the collarbone. And then look up. And come back to center. Still tucked. Look the other way. Drop the chin. And look up. Back to center. Chin tucked. Peck. Like a pigeon. <clears throat> and 
and we'll do a side lunge. Go the other way. And come on up the grab stick. <clears throat> Gotta do the gym stick routine. Starting with some dynamic swimmers in one direction. And then the other. And then up overhead, side to side. Behind the waist, rotate. And then drop the stick to just above the knees, bring the hands around in front between the knees, hinge at the waist and pull up. And then bring the stick around front. Hands out or near the top. Step back, hinge at the waist, stretch the shoulders and upper body. Come on up, bring the stick across. The body with one hand, other hand comes up underneath the armpit, grabs the shoulder, pinch at the waist, tug gently on the shoulder. Do the same thing the other way. And then bring the stick to the side of the foot, push out with the top hand, pull in with the bottom hand, hinging at the waist. Same thing in the other direction. Um, back and bring the stick in front of one foot, drop the top of the stick against the collarbone, slide down, lift the sole of the foot off the floor and wiggle it if you can. Lower the, you go with your hands, the, the uh, bigger the stretch. And come on up, same thing on the other side. Keeping your spine neutral the whole time, of course. Yeah, come on up and bring the sole of the first foot against the stick. And then the other. And 
And then we're going to bring one foot forward, bending at the knee, around the ball of the foot behind us. Come on down and stretch the hip flexors. And then switch the position of the legs. And come on up. Grab onto one leg by the shins, ankle, or toes and stretch the quads. If you need to, uh, you can hold on to a counter or the back of a chair if you need two hands or uh, uh, you, can't, you can't hold on to your foot that way, can you? <laughs> Forget that. And come on down and grab the other. But if you do find this uh, quad exercise difficult, you can do it in a chair, sitting down and going like so. I know some people feel a little unshaken. Um, let's bring the uh, one foot up, then I have my stick. Pushing the knee back, hinging at the waist. And now, on the other. And, um, and then, one stick in front, holding on with two hands, one hand or a finger or two. And we're going to have our feet about hip width apart. Roll back onto the fifth metatarsal, digging your toes into the ground. And then back to on the first, then to the fifth, then to the first. Just keep moving back and forth from first to fifth, creating an arch and then a flat foot. And then stay back on the fifth and hold, digging those toes into the ground for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And, and let's put this picture out. All right. Standing core set. We're going to start with 10 good mornings. Hinging at the waist, keeping the spine neutral. Bending the knees slightly as we come down. And then let's hinge at the waist and cross the arms. Knees are slightly bent. We're going to come up, bringing the elbows past the rib cage, go back down with the other hand in front and come back up. That's one rep. We'll do nine more. Alternating which hand goes in front when we come down. Now you could do these with weights if you felt 
You wanted to add a little something to it. This is nine for me, I think. And 10. Take a breath. We're just gonna slap the opposite knee, bring it up as high as feels comfortable for you. Slap it with the opposite hand. And breathe. Rotational punch up 45 degrees. And then we're going to reach straight up, pick that cherry, come straight down. Try to get that hand parallel to the ear. And then make a grab when you get to the top. Nice breath. And we're gonna do some alternate jacks. Just walking. Good. Spread your legs, come across to the opposite toe. You don't have to touch it, get as close as you can. And come on up. We're going to do some knee drives to the same side elbow. If you can hit it, great. If not, don't worry about it. And then you can keep doing those, or if you can, cross your arms over your chest and go knee to opposite elbow. And that's it. A couple of recovery breaths. And we're doing alternate nostril breathing with diaphragmic breathing. And if you can, the ocean sound that comes from the top of the throat. So it's all through the nose. We're going to start inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right, inhaling to the right, exhaling to the left. We'll do five sets. And again, you want to expand the belly as you inhale. Feel that air come up your chest all the way to the collarbone. Then as you exhale from the chest down, eventually bringing your muscles in 
to get all that air out. Here we go, five rounds. And rubbing the hands together to cultivate chi. And pull the chi ball. And centering. Two breaths. And let's open our hearts. And pause, exhale, and send it out. And center, two breaths. And bring down chi from above. And gather from below. And, uh, <laughs> Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Hey, yeah, Mira. Have a great day. Thanks, Tom. And Art, take care. Thanks, Tom. Nina. <laughs> take care. It was Donald. Donald. <laughs> I'm going to do five Tibetans. Shimon, if you want to, if you're hanging around, that would be great. One way or another, we are going to proceed. Of course, you can just twist at the waist and swing your arms or do up to 11 spins. Mind again, child. And take two breaths. We're going to go on the floor.
and by your side underneath the small way back if you need it there. With support for the back of your head if you need support for your neck. Head, neck, and shoulders come up at the same time as the soles of the feet if you're doing the modified version. Unmodified version, the legs are extended and they come up. I'm going to do 11 regulars. That's two. And then take two breaths. Run up on our knees. Hands on the back of the thighs, preferably, but could be on the boots. We need to just turn back on the knees. But if you can do back extensions, come back and hold. Two. And reverse. And down. And five hips, preferably. You can put them behind you if you need to. So the feet can be on the floor, but in the regular version, they're extended. Or the inverted table. And two breaths. And turn around. In the modified version, we're on tabletop position into a cobra. Unmodified, which I will do today. Down bow to up dog. Yeah, come around, crossing our legs. Oh, that feels right. I'm going to do six rotations in one direction, five in the other, either standing, sitting up, or bending over. Check the waist, hinging at the waist. On the last round, we're going to stretch out and do a round of box breathing in the middle, on the left knee, and on the right knee. 
There you go. I don't know if we're going to switch the position of the legs, what was on top goes on bottom. What was in front goes behind. That's the way you figure the legs today. I do five rotations in one direction, original direction, six in the other, and repeat with the two rounds of box three. And something. Have a great day.